With the release of NativeScript 7, the team streamlined the developer experience to contain properly exported ES2017 symbols for all that NativeScript core library has to offer using just a single import. That's that one right there. They also wanted to address the extraneous number of generically named symbols throughout the core modules to help avoid import aliasing as much as possible, which also helps to isolate conflicting namespaces. There will be more improvements over time, but today I'm just gonna show you where we were before NativeScript 7 and where we are now. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Alex. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do NativeScript tips, tricks, and tutorials here. And if you want to learn more about NativeScript, check out the links below for free courses as well as coupon codes for more advanced NativeScript courses available on native scripting. If you are using JavaScript, plain JavaScript, stay to the end of the video and I'm going to show you how to import things in that way. It's also pretty simple. All right, so I've just set up a new project here and it's not new. It's actually old, but uh, I've had to simulate how we used to do imports in native script back in the day. Not really back in the day, before version seven, which came out last month back in the day. All right, so here we are. This is the import stack. Look at this. We got imports coming from TNS core modules and then sub modules after that. So utils, utils, application, UI, page, these are all coming from different places and you couldn't import just from one spot. So you had to have all these different imports depending on what you're importing. And you had to remember all these, so where are they coming from? Okay, that's a pain, right? So not only was this fixed to address the pain of importing from different places, but also some of these symbols were exported in a more consistent manner to comply with modern JavaScript practices. So here is uh, an example. We are importing app and we're importing star as app from the entire application module, which we can later use. For example, here we're grabbing the root view from the app and doing things with the root view. Fine. Uh, then we have a page reference. So this is a page class. And when we navigate to the page right over here, we're getting that object as our parameter passed in and we're casting page. So then later we can use page methods in TypeScript like this. For example, here we're using get view by ID and so on. Stack layout, same thing. We're casting whatever view we get as a stack layout. So then later we can use stack layout methods and functions and properties. We need to import stack layout from this. TNS core modules, UI, layouts, stack layout. Okay, so that gives you just a taste of the things we had to deal with. How do we do it now? Let's go to package.json. Here we had TNS core modules. Uh, let's just go ahead and blow that whole line away. And in native script seven, we're gonna import at native script and slash core. Let's get the most up-to-date version here, 7.0.11. Now this is not native script CLI. These are the native script core modules. It's a library and this core library is not NativeScript itself. NativeScript CLI is the thing that runs your project. It also is the thing that does generation. NativeScript core is the core modules. This is the library, the JavaScript library that talks to the underlying native layer. All right, so we got NativeScript core here. And this right here, this whole NativeScript section, this was generated before. We actually don't need that anymore. We are moved past that now. So there's new methods and new techniques. Also, this TNS platform declarations don't need that anymore. This is in native script slash types. Might as well get that out of the way too. We're not working with that here today, but might as well update it. Now, what I need to do is actually go ahead and blow everything away. So I'm gonna clean my entire project and I'm gonna do RM, RF. Basically, you wanna delete your node modules and if you have built the project before, delete your platforms folder. I haven't, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete node modules. I'm also gonna remove my hooks directory because I might have some new hooks that get downloaded along with that 
and installed. Now, this is not the only thing you need to do if you're upgrading from NativeScript 6.8 or earlier to NativeScript 7. This is just talking about imports. So I did not do any kind of Webpack optimizations or new Webpack configurations. That's gonna be left for a different video. Leave me a comment down below, by the way, if you wanna see that. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna do npm install, and this will download the latest, the add native script slash core and the add native script slash types and update that, giving me new node modules and access to all the new goodies. Now that we have that, let's go back to main page where we have our imports. Everything is breaking now, so I'm gonna leave that up, but I'm gonna comment everything out. Now, what do we need? We need event data. Let's see if Visual Studio Code can help us out here. And yes, it can. I'm gonna just click on that. Look at that, it's clean. We're importing event data from at native script slash core. Okay, great. What about page? Let's go ahead and have VS Code help us out with that. Oh, it's also in native script slash core. That's convenient, so both of those are there. What about stack layout? Add stack layout. Hey, look at that. That's also in native script slash core. So all three of those are native script slash core. And before they were spread out all over the place. What else do we have here? Well, we have app and Visual Studio Code is not gonna help us there because app is not really a symbol. Let's keep going. We have view, that one can be added as well. So now we have these four coming from native script core. Now what about app? and this one down here, layout. If we take a look at app, I was importing this from TNS core module slash application, and I was importing and aliasing everything, the entire module as app, but now we have something else. We have the application as a symbol. So I can import application as a symbol from native script core as well. All right, now Visual Studio Code went ahead and formatted that for me nicely. We're importing everything now from native script core. And instead of app here, we're gonna use application get root view. So we're gonna use that symbol now, it's a new symbol. Okay, convenient, very nice. What about layout? Well, what was layout doing before? Import layout from TNS core modules, utils, utils. It's a utility that allowed us to get the display density among other things, it does a bunch of things, but that's what we need to do is get display density. So let's go back up here and import layout. Well, no such thing. So what do we do? Well, look at that. What we're trying to get is actually utils. And utils happens to be exposed as a utils symbol. So now all utils are coming from native script core. And you can use that here. So we can go to utils.layout.get display density. Okay. We've converted all this and we have only one line of import right here and everything is coming from a flattened native script core structure. How clean and simple is that? Much nicer, right? Okay, so if you are using JavaScript, this is how you go about doing your imports. You still take advantage of importing everything from at native script slash core. You're gonna use require though and you're gonna use an import like this. So it'll be utils.layout get display density. If you need to import application, you would import application like that. And anything else you might want here as well. You don't really need to import page unless you're doing static classes on page, but utility classes and other symbols that are new, you can import from core directly and have them all on the same import line. And this is using the destructuring syntax. It's not really import, you're just creating a const here and these are const. You're using destructuring that's coming from this module right here. That's gonna be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Happy upgrading to NativeScript 7 and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button. See you later.